welcome to the ccm course so here is the level 2 part 3 where we will be completing the body of our character so we'll be adding the eyeballs and finishing all the details we did so let's get started okay so first of all go to the front view and just drag these things to overall match the stuff so i'm i'm using the proportional editing for this so let's just scroll and first let's change this to medium point so now we are free to change it and we can simply drag it out where we really want it so this one should be here and the back one should be here something like this this one should be towards this, this place and yeah it's looking going to be fine and from the side view as you can see the reference is a little different compared to the side one but we can totally ignore this but because you can just match it from one side and it will be fine so something like this and something like this would be fine okay leave it for now the next thing is that we have to uh, fix the shape of our cheeks so for that if I just go to the side view and see what I can do from here is that I can just slightly move this toward the front direction this one this one something like this also what you can do is you can go to the sculpt view pick up the draw brush just scale the size of the brush with the bracket keys and turn on the pressure a little low and you can just simply what you can do is can make the cheeks a little something like this as you can see we can now get that feel with the sculpt something like this okay now again going to the front view and let's see what we can fix here so i have to just match it with the reference this one should be this one you can also turn off this subdivision for a moment and you can check them something like this and if you think this is a little too much so you can go to the sculpt view and you can shift and left click and you can actually smooth this thing so again I'm just adding a volume and this is how I can smooth it by turning on the wireframe from here you can actually do it a little more better so you know where my vertex and vertex are going so you can do it a little easy okay now it's time to add some more details so here i will add the holes here in the nose so for that control r and i can add a loop but i won't do it because i have to do it from here like uh, this one this one this one and this one and up to here i can just merge it with this one enter right click subdivide and move this one here 
and what we can do is can simply connect this one to this one this one and we can add a more one extra loop we will fix this thing later but for now just add it and this will fix your problem the same thing we need here is to just move this thing then again do the same thing need a loop here and join this one with this one okay so it's time to add the that detail so uh, i have to just remove one edge from here because it's a little too dense and what i can do is i can double g to just move this thing toward this direction and the same thing here we don't need it actually now so this is now fine okay so here is the place that I want to add my hole so I will press the control shift and B and then scroll to just uh, increase the dense and now delete the center one and select all this and we have to turn on a modify here so I'm going to the preference and search for loop and just turn on this thing save it from here and now right click you will get this option so we can make it circle and just scale this circle with y and rotate it a little toward the enter toward the inner direction and now we can just simply uh, connect this one here and this one to this one this one here this one here and this is how we can get these things i, w I really want I, I want to scale it like this and from the front view you can move it inside move this thing this side and yeah this is this is better now okay next thing is to just e suit scale and move it towards the inside a little and then going to the side view and e extrude it toward the inside full and we can add then we can fill this thing so we can add a loop here also to just scale this thing to make sure everything's fine okay now it's time to make this to exactly where it is so just move it toward here yeah i think this is the better place for it okay one another thing we can do is we can continue this loop uh, toward the downward so i can do it like this and here let's join this thing yeah so and with here what i can do is i can continue this one to here and now here and that's what we can do for now okay later on we can improve it but for now let's just finish up the shape that we need so here i will do a little uh, the lip shape so it's something like this and we can control or and add a loop uh, here actually we just add a crease type as you can see now we get a crease and what we can do here is we can make this one a little outside and this one little outside here this one here something like this and now if i just turn on this thing 
as you can see it's looking more smooth okay it's time to fix the uh, this shape so here i will just select the mid loop and i will increase the mean crease so we can little merge it or otherwise what you can do is you can select it move it down or just move it up and something like this and now for the eyes we can simply select it D to extrude S to scale move it toward the inside a little T e and Y to scale it here T e scale it here move it toward back direction F to fill it finally and now if I just turn on it it looks something like this which is cool and I have to add this thing uh, the eyeball so for that I am just selecting all this and shift S to move it cursor toward the selection so now if I just add my spare and make this thing a little low pulley so something like this right click make it shade and if I just turn on the wireframe as you can see this one uh, every spare is having this pole point so the pole point should be toward the front at the eye so R X in 90 degree to just make sure it looks the pole point look toward you and this is how I can do it okay now just moving toward the back direction a little and scaling this thing and just try to match this thing so maybe i think i have to just scale this thing a little outside with the and now i can add a mirror modifier and for this i have to just pick up this object so it mirrored it with that and from the side view i need some changes so the eyeball should be here if i just move the reference a little toward the down so i can match it with the reference and now as you can see the next thing is we need this one should be something like this and also this one something like this so now we are getting a little the eye shape and this is how it's going okay this looks much 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 better now So you can do the small changes again so we can improve it later so i will do some changes and i will show it after this okay so i did some small changes in the nose added some uh, sharpness here added some mean crease here and this is now what i'm getting so you just need to work a little more on it smooth up some of these faces and edges and after some time you will get something like this so that's it for the video and in the next video we will be creating the clothes for this character so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video